Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Snowfall here in City Skylines where we're building our big huge metropolis in the Arctic Circle. Uh, last episode we begin the construction of a brand new industry, our forestry industry at that. And we pretty much got it all set up where we got a little bit of a road layout, we know where we want to pull it, but most importantly we got some of our imports and exports routes set up with train lines which is really important. Uh, for bringing the cargo in and out of the area. Now, we're pretty much back, guys. If you are enjoying this series, make sure you smash the like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. We had a slight little issue with the uh, water that we had trickling down the mountain. Uh, it almost started flooding everywhere, so I had to kind of uh, build these makeshift uh, canals uh, just to kind of soak up the water. Now, what I am going to do, now it's slightly drained, we're going to put some water sources back in. But we're going to place them where they looks like they should have been. I originally placed it up here, which feels like it didn't really make much sense. You can see where the water kind of is meant to trickle down from this little hole here. Uh, and uh, so this little hole here and this little one over there. So we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to reduce the water capacity down to very, very small. Uh, place you in. And we'll bring it down so it's really, really, really tiny. I don't know how far that's going to go, but we'll see. It will be a nice kind of... Uh, actually, I might have made that way too small. Is, do you reckon that's way too small that I've just made it? Let's find out. Well, fast forward. Does this water increase or is that as big as it's going to get? I think it might need to slightly increase it where it just goes over this little bit of a lip. And then uh, I'll slowly increase it as uh, time goes on to try and get the right flow where it trickles down uh, where it looked like it used to once run. I think there's one over here that we maybe need to kind of squeeze into, but who knows? Is that high enough now? I think that's that even that might be a little bit too small. We'll bring it up to about there. And that's as far as I'm going to bring it and let it do its worst. But anyway, this is what we did last episode, guys. We built this area where we're going to have our brand new forestry. Uh, we've got the road going over the highway, which is perfect, uh, leading all the way down to this end area. We've got a train station, which we're going to use to import and export the goods from our forestry area, which is going to scoot us around. And we also built this huge train yard, which has some of the, uh, the localized goods, these zoned industry products, uh, because it's, we don't really have anything stored over this side. We have it all over here, but I want it spread out a little bit more evenly, so it makes a little bit more sense. Now, we're going to use this road that's kind of connected to the roundabout to kind of come up and over to go down. And I think I might get it connected into the two lanes that run either side of the train station here. As that will be a good way. It's going to have like a little bit of a shortcut route and also enable this huge depot to be connected to that road as well. So we're not kind of putting too much traffic on this junction on the highway. But um, let's first take a look at how we can build our forestry industry. So we don't really have any trees around here right now, which is not a problem. Uh, we can add those slowly in. But let's get these buildings set up one by one. Now what we need to do is we need to build uh, each of the plantations. And I think because we're in a forestry one right now, the sapling ones go inside of a greenhouse. That's pretty interesting. Now these buildings are absolutely huge. I ain't gonna lie, they're absolutely huge. So we'll utilize this area over here where we have the raw product. Over here, the production buildings because they're closer to the imports and exports area. So let's see what we can get up to right now. Let's place you directly in. So, well, bam. And right next door to it, well, bam. And then we'll do one more and see where three brings us up to. So three of them bring us up to there. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, I don't know actually whether to kind of take it that way. Nah, I think this will be okay. Uh, we have got a little bit of a, bit of a space if you kind of want to connect it to each of the road junctions. Where I think that's where we might kind of switch them slightly round. So if I went to the 50 here. And then right down. So it fits in within the 50 mark. Pretty nice. That will be our first little set. And what I could do is I can make this one. Get flipped around. So it's not technically on this side, which just spreads the traffic pressures out a little bit. I mean, you're not really going to have much traffic pressure anyway, but it just slightly spreads it out. 
Uh, so let's do another set of them. So we do one there. We do one there. And that other set right now. So where would I have this connected? So what is the length of this, by the way? This is a 22. So we might need to get it connected to that. Uh, for just a moment. So 22 is the connection. And that's there. So if I went to about here. Throw this one in. And then bend that road into it. So where does that bend take place? That bend will happen on a 4. Straight in. Straight out. Right, upgrade. Very good. Very good. So it's a nice little start. We'll plant trees in the gap so it all feels like it's all part of one. That will be no problemo for us. Now, apparently this doesn't have any water. And the answer is correct. We don't have any water. So 22. And up. 22. And down. 22 and up. 22 and down. And we'll just get these quickly connected in. So the pipes are having a little bit of shortcuts. So that's very, very basic right there. There's not too much going on. I like how it's made at the same type of tree on <laughs> both little sections right there. That's kind of interesting how they did that. That is kind of interesting. Now, we'll continue the expansion again, but I reckon we should now do some of the greenhouses. So these are the large sapling ones. We've got two variations in which we can kind of do these in. And the large ones kind of come in this longer format. So if we extend the road a bit further down. So we actually did like a, a 30 off there. So what is that there? That is almost the same. I reckon we'll kind of bring it up a bit more. And I could do a connection there. There's, there's not going to be really that much traffic going on. To be honest with you. So if I placed you in just here. Now I need to try and figure out. So if that there is a 17. I think that is the space, if I'm not mistaken, to back it on. It is. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. Bringing you down like that. To add a couple of these now in. So if I just mimic, or if I just go to there for now. Now, as much as I want loads of them, I gotta be careful not to do too many of them. So what do you reckon? Like a six ish? You can change the style of them as well, so it's not all the same. Or do you reckon I should bring the road down to kind of separate the two areas? Yeah, I think that's what I should have done. So I'm not bulking it up too much. There we go. There we go. So I reckon we then spread these out slightly. So you go there and then you go there. And then we move these over. There. And there. And we again planting trees in the middle. To fill up all the little gaps. So a lot of now uh, forestry products now being created. Uh, we're going to be exporting a lot of the tonnage. But we still got loads more that we need to squeeze in. Loads more baby. Loads more. Now what I reckon we should do here then is connect these up. So the bend's going to happen quite late. But it's just to try and get away from this. So four by four. And in. And then we run this down to there. And we try and get some more connection here. So we're trying to make everything as flow as nicely as possible within this industrial area. And let's go back to the uh, forestry stuff right now. So that's the maintenance building. We don't want that. I think we should go for some of these medium plantations next. So... We'll go sideways so we're not directly on the road. I'm going to do it by four, which is quite a hefty amount. 
So going back by a 17, which actually works out a little bit further along. So I think what we should do here is run this right down to there and do another set coming off just there right now. So back into this. We'll change the type of tree on some of them as well. So it's got a little bit more variation on the go. And then if I bring you to here. 22. So I'll go to the 15 and then we'll bend this directly in. So that will become a 7x7. Seven seven, straight in. So everything flows pretty nicely, doesn't it? Everything does flow pretty nicely. Uh, we'll get some water serviced in this area. Just quickly like that. That's fine. Very good. Very good. So some of this will be exported over here, which is what we don't want, which is why we're placing our production buildings over here. Now, we'll leave this for now. I don't know whether that's going to be enough or too much. Who knows at this point? We've got to wait for our kind of tonnage to kind of all come through. Now, we'll place down some of our production buildings around here. It's just a case of how big are they? So we've got the ability to place the port mill in, which is, okay, that's a decently sized building. And the other one is the wood, is the engineered one plant, which is a small one. Okay, fairly easy to get done. Fairly easy to get done. Now, these buildings are going to be placed on where the land is slightly rising up. So we have a lot of uh, land terraforming procedures that now need to go into place. But if we start with the large ones, the are they called port mills? They are, right? Now, these can be squeezed within here. So I don't know whether to kind of put one in slightly centered to begin with and then squeezing can i squeeze another one just here i can like that how does that look okay not too bad not too bad not too bad leave them just there for now they do they do need power the power has to spread so could i put in just this here for now just to kind of make it work and connected. I feel like I want to bring the road over next first. So let just let it do what it's got to do. And I'll bring the road in. So this road then, I want it to run uh, over this section here. And then directly in and down. So my four lane road. The center point for this would be directly here. So if I bring this out by a 10. That's where I want it to run into. So I'm hoping we can just kind of scrape it across the side here as I raise it up. And I don't know whether to make it go directly into there. I think so. I think so. Because I can make it do a one-way road in. And only connecting via a one-way road to go down here to connect. Yeah. I could definitely... No, actually, no. we got to go that way, don't we? Right. I've got to change this into a one-way road. But yeah, I I've got an idea of how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to implement it. So if we go up by a 10 by 12. Damn, that thunder and lightning scary. Bringing this all the way across just to here. Right, I'll sort out the, uh, the elevation change myself. And then from here, we'll do again the same 10 by 12. Straight over. Now, I'll use the connection tool to bend this all in. Whoa, where are we going? Where are we going? Get back here. Alright, so that's the re I mean, that's the bend, but I, I don't know where to kind of shorten it slightly. Have a little bit of a straight bit. I don't know. I think now we can just go for the maximum bend. In like that. So up and over. And then we need to kind of connect into it as we please. So that bends up and over. I won't do any slip roads. I'll kind of keep it simple. But I don't know whether to also then just elevate a little bit more of this. So the elevation comes from there. Maybe elevate you. And then use the alignment tool, the slope. So go from there to there for a nice gradual 1% incline. And then go from we'll go from here to there. We have a 4%. That, that, it all works. It all works. It all just skadoodles slightly out of here. Up and round and down and in. 
And then we just smoothen off them with the terrain tool to, uh, you know, have a pause it. Get all the right stuff. Smoothing some of this as well. Smoothing some of this. Yeah, that all works out. So it's quite, basically, this road here is, is a shortcut route. It doesn't connect to the highway. It's a shortcut route for the industry. Uh, and why it's important is because it runs directly into a roundabout, which kind of keeps the flow of the traffic moving slightly. I want to connect roads into it from this. Uh, I might bring this under to connect it as, in a weird way, like a slight little trumpet. I don't know how that's going to play out. I don't know how that's going to play out. And obviously, we're going to get this to kind of connect directly into there. So this should be this should be quite fun to see how this is going to work. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, our rural road. road um, I've got many options which I can do it in. I can kind of connect it this way and then bend it in. Or this way and bend it in. Which is going to be the most important one. See, coming from that way, it means they can all come to an end route out of the warehouses to connect directly in. So it means I could, in particularly, do an 8 by 8. I don't know if to do that or slightly first come out a little bit. So like if we came out by a 5, for example, and then... The bend would be a lot shorter at a three. So that's one way to kind of look at doing it, which separates it a little bit further down for our next connection. So this I can just elevate up, but I, I think that would be a little bit ugly. We could kind of like bring this a little bit further down as if we can access this area a bit more. I don't know if that's going to be the right thing to maybe even attempt. But like from here, I could maybe come out by a five to then connect it to somewhere like. Uh, do you know what? Delete this. What would a loop look like? Is this the loop one? Create loop. That would probably be a lot better. I'm going to implement that. And we just got to sort out some of the elevations right now. That's going to be a lot better. I, I like the design of this. This free-flowing loop. Oh, snap. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. I thought I was upgrading. I thought I was upgrading. Why am I not upgrading? Right, there we go. <laughs> right, upgrade there so we'll raise this point here to here that's good enough for me and then we'll set the alignment for this now it's quite high that there so it might be a case of where I go back as far as here to there so slightly dampen no, that's way too high. Can I undo that? No, it's too late. Too late. You you've already committed Semiac. It's too late. It's too late. Okay, so if I bring what is going on right now? It's all going wrong, isn't it? It's all going wrong. So there to there. That flattens it. How high is that, by the way? I reckon we'll go from here, then. Here to here. That's a better gradient, isn't it? That's a better gradient. So we've got two ways in which you can enter this area from this road, but it's so far spread out that it shouldn't cause any issues whatsoever. All right, sort out the smoothing of the lands. I don't ever, I feel like this should be elevated here as well. Can I upgrade this type of road? What do you mean? Get out of here. Right, just to there. So I can smoothen all that off and then you don't even notice. I like it. I like this flowingness that's going on. These bends, these winds, these turns. It's quite satisfying in a weird way. It is quite satisfying as it all kind of connects over. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I have no idea yet. No idea. 
but I do like the idea of it. So until we start to see traffic build up, I'm just going to turn off the traffic lights for now. And we've got to sort this out into a one-way road. So if I double it up in two lanes to kind of keep it nice and simple. Now, if that's coming in, remember, they're driving on the right-hand side of the road. So it'd be good to flow in that direction. Meaning that you enter from here and you exit from there. So hopefully this all goes to plan. Well, that all works like that. That's fine. So they all filter it that way. Now, this is me hoping. That I can do something here. So bring that bend back in, but you merge this bend with it. But you don't want to come out the opposite way. It's solely for that. I mean, I could. There's nothing stopping me doing it like. Oh, there's, you know what? There's nothing stopping me doing this. Because it makes no difference whatsoever. In reality. So there to there. And bend that like that. And then you just upgrade that to the four lane road. But all that gets messed up. So what I could do. Hmm. You kind of want like a skinnier four lane road, which will be one of these. And that's how you get away with it. That's how you slightly get away with it. Where this might then cause the need for a roundabout. <laughs> How's this looking? So there's no traffic lights on it. But we'll see what happens. Because if it needs a roundabout, I might have to kind of push it slightly back to incorporate some type of roundabout. But there, there shouldn't be that much traffic anyway. There shouldn't be that much traffic. But that is just one way to kind of alleviate the traffic concerns that we might have within this area. Anywho, right, let's get back to our uh, forestry area right now. So we're import, or oh, not importing, sorry. It's all our own production, 220 tons. 14 tons is going into paper right now, which is making some good, good cash. And we also would then need to implement... So that's all just paper stuff, isn't it? We've also got to produce the planed timber. So it's a case of just creating a couple of additional areas in which we can kind of expand our road network to incorporate more industry. So what is the length? Well, it doesn't really matter what the length of this is. I reckon we just kind of connect it to this, to this. And then just slightly come out where we need to. So if I came out here. Something like that. I could place down a couple of planed timber spots. So I could do one there. Uh, I could throw in one just here on the corner. So that's, that's two to match the two pulp mills that we've currently got. Now it's not a lot, but it's an area that we can slowly work on and slowly grow and expand. Uh, what else that we need to do is zone the area because we also need to put down some of the in industry zoned forestry area, if that makes any sense. Uh, where's the industry? It's right here. It's the first one. Uh, woodland. And so if I quickly go to our natural resources... You can see that green is forest. Now, we don't have any forest down in our natural resources. So, I don't know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about right now. But, we'll try and up the strength. I'm feeling these little nooks and crannies. We'll pause it. It's a little bit quicker to do. Almost feels like a part of it, doesn't it? It does almost feel a part of it. Now, we'll bring down the strength to, like, areas like this, where it will just be, like, a light brush. Because 
because this is our forestry industry. But I'm not sure how that's going to work for the zoned area. You know what I mean? Right, if I just go to there and leave it like that. I'm not sure how it's going to work for the zoned area. So if I place some of this stuff down then. And I'll kind, of, I'll kind of like fill the little nooks and crannies of the gaps that we've got. Because that, that's going to produce uh, what gets stored in these warehouses. Uh, the forestry products just there. Because we have it zoned for the ore industry, as you can see. But you can't have the ore underneath it. And we have the same over here for the oil. Oh my goodness me, what's going on with the oil? Why have we got not enough power over here? Oh, we're not even connected. What's happened here? No, we are connected. Until there. What is going on? Oh no, the connections died there. That must have been... Oh, the uh, the lightning storm might have actually like put us out. Damn, son. The damn. That's crazy. That is slightly crazy. Uh, so yeah, that little bit of industry is now going to grow. I just don't know if he's going to produce the forestry product because there's technically nothing underneath it, but it's still within the area. But it makes sense, though, because I've got, like, area over here for, like, green for the forest, but there's, there's no trees. So I don't know. I don't know how that actually works. I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. So the only thing I don't have right now is the ability to store the guts. Now, normally when you place that in, you get this huge import influx of goods coming in. So I reckon we quickly create two, 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 and we place two little storage buildings here. By by little, I mean the biggest ones I can find. To store the goods in. So you'll see a lot of traffic go to these two buildings right now as well. You'll see astronomical amounts of traffic heading over there. And you might even get some imports coming in as well as you try and fill up these little storage areas. But this looks really good. I'm actually really impressed with how that turned out. And it really does merge well with all the trees. You can change the type of tree. I can go for like conifer or the uh, alder. So, but I'll keep those to beach. I'll keep it as is. I'm quite happy with how it looks anyway. So it, I, it doesn't bother me too much. So 14 tons in both. 120 tons acquisition. We're selling quite a lot of ton in output. So we've got, we're, we, we're selling more raw than processed. So that's good. We can add on to it when we need to. When we need to. This has worked out fairly well. We've got these roads kind of connected in. So as we kind of now expand, it's all going to slowly come together it's not too much traffic but then again all the traffic is now dedicated to the storage area so it doesn't really show us the true traffic i want to sort out these slip roads as well so on the highway we're going to upgrade some of it to the two lanes oh we're going to make sure it's elevated so two lanes allows us to turn two vehicles in and out of the area at once which is really really handy and if I sort out the turning on this, so how it works is, so if they're coming off the, uh, the the highway, we've got one that can turn that way and one that can turn this way together at the same time, thus getting the traffic off the highway uh, for us a lot quicker. Now, same thing works for turning onto the highway, get the traffic off this road just as quick by turning two vehicles on at once. And then we've got our single lanes that go straight over the junction to continue their journey. Now, we should have a node here that allows them to switch for their lanes. So we're going to have to actually add that in. So if I add that in myself, uh, the node here. Bam. So I don't want it to be a crossing. I just want it to be a middle. That's fine. Now, the reason that's important... Oh, it's now actually completely messed all this up. So let me quickly get this all back in. Sorry, guys. I should have done that first anyway. I should have known. I should have known. Right, that's now all done. So the reason that's important is because there's a now a node here, it means 
they can cross. So if they're in this lane here and they want to then turn left, they couldn't before. They were stuck in this lane. But now they can get to here, they can cross over like that car just did then to turn in. That's why it's important to have that node on the junction above. Otherwise, those vehicles can't make that turn. So, Chrissy crossing you over. Now you're going down. Oh, this way, sorry. Um, you turn into here. You turn into there. That's all done. So if you're in the if you're in the in the green lane and want to go down here, you've got to turn into here to then use the node to cross over to get into this lane to turn left. So that's pretty much how it works. It just kind of makes the flow a little bit smoother. It does make the flow a little bit smoother. So it should work out fairly well. It'll take a while for them to kind of figure out what they need to do. But there should be no issues. Two vehicles can get on and off just as quick. Right. Okay. We need more power. Now, we're not actually connected to the uh, the main power grid at all. But I'm going to bring that slide up to there so we get a bit of wind power on the mountain. Now, I'm surprised we didn't import any guts, but I suppose we're producing that much. We can store and fill these pretty quick. And is it producing any raw zone forestry product yet? I mean, we don't really have much going on right now, do we? It'd be interesting to see what happens. Um, do, can, we, can we wait for a vehicle to kind of pop out one of these buildings? I'm not sure how long we're going to have to wait. Because it kind of gives us an idea of where that, that vehicle's then heading. Oh, there we go. So that vehicle is now heading to the wood chip storage. So no, it's not producing. Oh, did that come out of here though? I'm not sure if that vehicle came out of this building. You kind of want it to come out of one of these two here. Hurry up and produce. Oh, where did you just come from? No, it's not producing what I thought it would. So, it's got to be down to the fact that it is thinking that this is here. But I can't get this off. Okay, that's one way to do it. I could put ore underneath it to make it think it's not a forestry building. I've put ore underneath it to make it think it's not a forestry building. Or do I do oil? Because it does make it look quite dark, doesn't it? Oil goes purple. Either way, no, we'll just do the darkness. Right, is that enough to trick it to think it's not a forestry building in terms of produces actual wood wood? And produces product instead? It'd be quite interesting to find out. These buildings here shouldn't have an issue with it because they're not determined on what they're sitting on. They just get delivered goods to... Uh, they're basically factories. All right. They're just basically factories right now. So I'm hoping that's kind of changed what these buildings then do. That's just come out. But then again, that probably was already kind of set in its own ways. We'll see what happens. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll see what happens. Right, so we can now start to delete some of this canal system. That can now go. Uh, that's got no water in. We'll delete you. Some of these still have. And how's this water source now looking? So it does trickle down quite nicely. It gets to about here, but it's not enough. But that's fine because there's other little trickles that come from different directions that meet this in the middle, which then push the water out. So that's perfect. There is one that would go here. Which I could add in. Oh, that's pause mode. Yeah, I'm in pause mode. So I will add you in just there. So bringing you right down just to there. So got you in. This would lead up to here. So is that too high? So bring you in just there. And there is one, there's actually two in this direction. There's one that's going to be over here. 
and then it looks like there would be one would have been one just there. And there may be one over here as well. But just let them do what they've got to do right now. Because that this, that one's going to add on to this flow. Which might be a bit too much. This is going to come down as well. So we might see flooding around here as they all slowly come together. That one's coming down as well. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe that is not enough. gonna get a consistent trickle down the hill i like the idea i, I want to see the stream that's what i want to see i want to see that stream right that vehicle has just come out so you're now going to the warehouse ah it did work perfect it's now going to over here to fill up this so it did work then just put a different ore or a different material underneath it now i'll fine tune it so it's not as Bam in your face. You know what I mean? Actually, we need it there. I just don't need it in here. So just put it under the areas and where we've got the industrial stuff going on. Was it there? Oh no, I don't even have it there. Actually, we don't really have that much of it. Right, we'll go to there. Got it there. I thought I had some here. Right, we'll go to there as well. And that's it. So now I know it works. That, that's all I've got to do. That's all I've literally got to do. To get the goods coming into here. And it's now starting to fill up. So that's perfect. We've got the goods, baby. We've got the guts. So that's enough of a trick right now to join this, which is perfect. This is coming down the hill, which I feel like this might be a little bit too much. But I can't seem to lower that one any further. I think it might be due to the placement of it. But let's just see what happens when it connects to this. It should be enough to kind of start pushing this out. Pushing it out enough that it trickles through. Uh, and we'll see what this one does eventually as well. Uh, anyway. Very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. So next episode then, we're going to have to look towards finishing off this highway here. It's got to bend around and come in to connect into here. I left this space open there. I can actually delete that road now. I don't need it. Uh, into just finalizing a trumpet. That will connect to the highway that way. Uh, so we've got an additional connection for us. So it all should just simply work out very well. Very well. Uh, we've got some decent money coming in right now. Making four grand. Not a huge amount of money, but we've definitely got room to expand anyway. That's the most important part. That is the most important part right now. I knew there will be some import along the way. I knew there will be some import along the way. But... Just got to get the rest of the infrastructure now all into place. Um, so it should all work out fairly well. Vehicles coming in. This road is not as busy as I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. But then again, we're still going to add more stuff onto it. Once I got more store, more commercial in this area, and these get used a little bit more as well. It'd be interesting to see where it kind of balances all out. But not bad, boys. Not bad right now. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash the like button down below. We'll see what this all does when it all comes together in the next episode. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.